Hey y'all, Richard Petrie here, and um, I'll put together a little short presentation, and hopefully it's under 10 minutes, on how to write an ad that makes the phone go nuts. And really it's a um, it's some of the stuff I would cover in some of my coaching groups and things like that, but I know I've got a lot of people on my list who, who've never been on a coaching group, they might have attended a seminar or something like that, and I, I just want to say thanks for being on the list. It's nice to have a list of people there. And I just want to give you something. And, and this, I think, if you follow this closely, can, well, can change your business overnight, if all things being equal. Okay, and there's a good quote by Gary Holbert, there's no business, there's no business problem that a well-written sales letter cannot solve. No business problem that a well-written sales letter cannot solve. So what he's saying is if you can put pen on paper, or ink on paper, or ink or pixels on a computer screen, and know what to say and how to say it, all of a sudden all your money problems can be solved anyway. And it's certainly the case that I've experienced when we've got it right with clients. And just a quick example here to whet your appetite, this is what can happen, and this is from Judd Delarose, she's a real estate agent in Dunedin. And he, we're chatting on Skype and he says, well we had uh, 18 people who replied to the report on Friday, so 18 didn't come in. Now, the ad that he put out would have gone out on Friday. So he had 18 on Friday, cool. Then 57 over the weekend, plus 9 on the website. And then I'm sarcastically saying, oh, bummer, <laughs> is that all? Great stuff. He said, yeah, it should all right. So I said, that's about 80-something. And I reckon 50% are tire kickers. So what happens in this stuff with the type of advertising I want to show you? Um, obviously not everyone's going to buy, obviously. Now in this case, they're looking to pick up people who are looking to sell a house. So I know that... If he gets 80, half of them will be tire kickers and won't sell a house. But that means 40 are. And, and that is revolutionary for a real estate agent to get 40 people phoning in. I mean, the traditional approach I've just been working with some recently is, you know, mailbox flyers and knocking on doors. You know, that's... And they're, they're, if they pick up, if they go knocking on doors for two or three hours a night and pick up two or three leads... That's good work, but imagine just 40 phoning, you know, well, 80 phoning you up, and out of that lot, 40 end up doing something, not necessarily with you, but that is good news. But anyway, the conversation continues. Uh, 86 to be exact, he says what, what, what we've got here, and roger that, over and out, King Petrie. And, and what I've noticed is when you write an ad for someone, and it makes the phone go ringing off the hook, they start giving you little... Uh, um, Titles like King and, and Sir and uh, and all the type of good stuff. It's, it's very good. So if you're going to write an ad that I'm going to show you in a minute for yourself, you can give yourself your own title. I do it all the time around here. Next day sends me another email, another 46 odd requests. Our mailbox is full and we need to make it bigger. So it's all going nuts. So 123 incoming phone calls and still running in. And then he's got a word I don't really understand. Um, but the point he's trying to make here, that Judd's making here, is they have never, ever had incoming phone calls like this, right? And as Helbert says, a well-written ad can change everything. So it's about getting people to call you, uh, and it can be done. You've got to understand psychology, and that's what we're going to cover in the next few minutes. So the traditional formula for writing ads, and, and look, most people don't bother anymore. But in the old days, you could put your company name on a headline in the paper or on TV or something, tell people what you do and talk about how credible you are and leave the phone number at the bottom and the phone would ring and that's fine in the 1930s and 40s and maybe 50s but now we're delu di you know, deluged, deluged, diluged, overridden. Now we've got lots of advertising coming at us all the time, all the time. So we just ignore stuff. You can't get away with the old um, formula of just getting your name out there. That's rubbish. And the reason is Buyers only care about themselves. They're only going to give you money to remove pain or pleasure. They want a result. What they don't, they don't want, I mean, I'm looking to buy a new house. What I don't want is a lawyer. I don't really want a lawyer. That's going to be expensive and costly. What I want is the legal work done and the settlement done. I just want that pain taken away. Okay? I don't actually want the legal services. It's just the result I'm after. Does that make sense? And if I don't get it done, there'll be pain. If I do get it done, it'll probably be pain. But anyway, we need it done. So it's about thinking about the result you deliver, not about the service. If you're an accountant, you know, it's about giving someone a dashboard so they can get control of their business. It's not about 
think counting. That's 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 how you look at it. The client looks at it as the result that they get. So it's got to be pain or pleasure focused. Now make the first step easy. Now most people, let me give you an analogy, an analogy to make this easy. When you're trying to pick up a woman, and I don't do this by the way, but you, you go to a bar, you don't go in and go up to her and slap a big kiss on her lips. It's too big a step. She's gonna she's probably gonna slap you. Nine out of ten, nine out of ten will probably slap you. <laughs> and the eleventh, tenth one, don't know. But nine out of ten will slap you. You've got to take a small step. You go up. You may offer to buy her a drink, have some light conversation, share some small talk, and then step it up from there. Then you might get a phone number, take her out on a date, and that might that might lead to a kiss at some stage. Okay, and take that from the master of romance. I'm the worst man to be handing out romance tips. The worst. My wife will vouch for that. But anyway, that's how it's done, apparently. Now, with selling, most people are trying to get a kiss on the first date, or even worse, even worse than a kiss on the first date. So make it a series of small steps, and then tell them what to do. So remember, they only care about themselves. They only want to give you money to remove pain or pleasure to deliver a result. And make the first step easy, tell them what to do. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to write an ad where you tell them who the ad's for. You're going to show them that you understand their problem. Okay, it doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter actually what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. You want to show them, understand their problem. Offer to solve their problem with free education. Now, when we do this approach, we'll traditionally get 10 times more phone calls and often more than someone would have got using their old approach. Okay, this is worth listening to and worth having a crack at. If you're doing already doing advertising, and you're selling reasonably big ticket items, this is definitely worth pricking your ears up for and, and following this formula. So I'm going to give you a little example. First thing you notice, now I'll just go back to my little formula there, tell them who it's for. Okay, so for dairy farmers, share milkers, or senior farm managers only. We've been very specific. Because that is, I guess, a bit like a light, sh for those people, if they see that there, they, they're going to say, this is for me, and then hone in. We don't care about everyone else. Okay, they're irrelevant to us. There's no point anyone else reading it because it, they're not a prospect. Okay, so that was step one. Step two, show them you understand their problem. Now we're talking about, and probably actually, to be fair, I could have done a better job with this, but we've shown them that we, we've told them who it's for, and, and, and actually it's in this middle panel here with the bullet points where we tell them exactly the problems they've got. We also tell them that first couple of paragraphs, we actually talk about how people are giving them bad information. Okay, so that's another problem they have that they know they have. So we're talking about the problem of getting bad information, and we're talking about the problem, you know, cows treated for milk fever that don't get up. That's one of their problems. Cows and heifers losing weight too fast in the spring. Means nothing to me, probably means nothing to you, but it means a lot to a dairy farmer. Go back, offer to solve the problem with free education. Right, jump to the black text box. There's a wee bit more in this. You know, this is a little bit more complex than completely simple, but it, the structure's the same. Right, the black box basically tells them what to do. And, you know, simply text COW to 244 to receive your free copy of the report. With texting, you have to tell them it's going to cost them 20 cents legally. And an operator will call you back to get your name and postal address. Okay, so what we're after is leads. Or call this number and hear a short recorded message where you'll leave your name and postal address. Sweet. Okay, this is going to generate incoming leads. Now, he, he got over... He's used to getting no leads phone out from his traditional ads. This one generated over 200 phone calls. And then with the phone calls, they'd send out the information, gain a bit of trust from there, look to have a meeting with the farmer. And they stepped up about 40-odd to be clients. And the client to them is worth about $1,500 a year. And they stay for about five years. So each new client's probably worth, what, four times 15, whatever the maths is on that. Maybe that's six grand times 40. So we're talking reasonably good numbers here, okay? We're talking good numbers even in the first year, okay? Completely different approach, and, and the old approach didn't work at all, okay? So really, we just, we just, we're not trying to, we're just going up and offering to have a chat with them and give them, buy them a drink, effectively, is all this is, buy them a drink. So, remember, tell them who the ad's for, show them you understand their problem. You notice in this ad back here, too, they didn't even... There was no mention of even who he was. 
the whole ad was focused around the problem, which is them focused. You wouldn't even know who was offering this. His company is not there anywhere because it doesn't need to be. They don't care about you. They only care about solving their problem. And that's all we're focused on. We don't want to distract them at all. So tell them who the ad's for. Show them you understand their problem. We did that in the middle and offer to solve the problem. Brilliant. Right. So if, if you've got something like this, this is the formula you can use, okay? If you've got something big where you've got massively big potential gains if you get this right, then give me a little email and I'm happy to have a little chat with you about it. Um, it may be something I can help you with on a results sort of basis where you pay for results as opposed to paying a, a big upfront fee. Um, but it is something you can do yourself. Yeah, there are a few little, there's a couple of little things you need to be aware of. It works best for selling big ticket items where education is required. So, so selling ice creams, no. Selling light bulbs, no. Um, selling real estate, selling insurance, selling mortgages, selling, um, oh, who else we had? We've had, um, you know, deer hunting experiences, yes. Um, selling recruitment, definitely. Uh, bigger ticket items, but how big? It sort of depends, um, but at least in the thousands rather than in the, in the tens. You've got to identify who you're going to target, so you might target a specific group. Notice how we, we, we named exactly the type of people we're after. You need to get that right. You need to get the problem right. It's got to be a problem which is likely to lead to getting the whole deal. So, for example, there's an ad on the moment for Tony's Tire Service. They're offering a free puncture repairs. Now, getting a whole lot of people coming in to get free puncture repairs is probably good business for Tony's Tire Service, or I think it's Tony's Tire Service, because there's a good chunk of them that will need new tyres. Okay, so by solving that initial problem, it leads to money. And you've got to have a good romancing process. So you've got to, you've got to break it up into reasonable, common sense, smaller steps. It's a, it's, a, it's a dating process. It's a romancing process rather than trying to go for the kiss on the cheeks in the first time you ever see the person you're approaching. It doesn't go down well with men. Um, I've tried it a couple of times. It didn't go down that well. So best to have a few small steps, if you know what I mean. Um, so that basically, yeah, that's the formula. And like I say, we've tried it a lot of different places. And, and basically, that's the high-level framework. You know, there's a wee bit of finessing and a little bit of fine-tuning on some of this. But like I say, if you've got a bigger, sh if you think you've got a big opportunity using this process, and probably you're probably already spending money on advertising, you'd like to try something a little bit different, then give me a yell, and we'll have a you know, no no charge. We'll just have a chat about it, and if I think I can help you, I'll let you know. If I don't think I can, I'll let you know as well. But like I say, it's not for selling ice creams; it's for selling bigger type of stuff. So so that's basically how it works. Uh, there might be, I probably stick a little report below this. You can download that and have a wee read of that, The Secret of the Monkey's Fist. Um, but, yep, massive, the, this, you know, I'm starting to rave here, but but this this literally, if, it, if it's the right um, type of business, you're selling the right thing, this can transfer, form your business overnight, literally overnight for some people. So that's it. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for being a subscriber. Um, if you've got any questions, send me an email. Happy to answer that. But otherwise, have a great day, and uh, I look forward to producing something for you again soon. Actually, if you've got anything specifically that's a hot topic you want to know about, give us an email about that too, and uh, see if I can put something together on that. See you soon.